Hi, welcome back to Wigscape. I'm Amy Gibson. I thought it was really important because when I first lost my hair, I didn't know what to expect from a wig consultation. And wigs have changed over the years. So I've been doing this for 20 years. I've been consulting women both in person, on the phone, via Skype, Zoom, whatever. And people have different fears, right? So I thought I'd go over a few things for you to be aware of and what you need to know. You know, a wig consultation, for me, it's very important for you to have a connection with the person who you're going to be working with. I don't care if you walk into a store and it's a ready-made piece, that person who's helping you is really important. They have more experience. So don't be afraid to ask the questions that you want to know. So come with a list of questions. Number one, the first thing that you should go over is who is the person, right? I'm sure you've researched them before meeting with them. You want to look at some reviews. And then when you meet with them, they're going to show you quality hair. If you're looking for human hair, you want to ask, what type of hair do you use? Um, is it double drawn or single drawn? Now we go over this in human hair a little bit, but single drawn is just hair that's taken and put into a wig. When it's double drawn, because hair grows at different phases, you have little short hairs in that bundle of hair that's going to be made for you, whether it's a top or a wig or whatever. And you want to remove those short hairs so it's nice and smooth and it doesn't tangle when they make it. So you want to ask for double drawn hair. But you also want to ask the person, so tell me how you work. Um, are you going to measure my head first? Because that's one thing it's going to have to be done is know your measurements. You want to know what type of cap you're going to be wearing. By any chance, do you have any caps that I can try without hair? attached so I can really feel what the cap looks like without being caught up with what I look like. The other thing to do is when somebody puts a wig on you, what I do with my clients is I make them close their eyes. I don't want them to look. Just let's see how it feels on you first. Then open your eyes and look. It's a really interesting process. So you're going to ask the person about the hair quality, the cap, how they work, what type of time frame it takes to make something. If they have something ready made, it's most likely going to be a little thick and too much density because they make for the masses. So you're going to have to ask her, do you thin it or do I bring it to my own stylist? But most importantly, you want to bring a picture of how you loved yourself because you want to get close to what made you feel most comfortable. And believe it or not, when you're going through hair loss, we actually forget what our hair looked like both in color and style in a very short amount of time. I know that when I started losing my hair and then I lost all of it, I started, I was like, do I, was I this color blonde or was my hair a little bit shorter? So I got a bunch of photos which really helped the person that was consulting with me. So you want to ask your measurements, as I said, you're going to show a picture. And if you're going in blindly and you're going to say, you know what, I want something different. I want to rock. Give me something that's going to make me rock. What's helped me a lot as a wig designer is to see what resonates with you. So go through the internet, do a little research, right? You're gonna see, women are really interested. It's like we have this really strong instinct. The minute we like something, we're like, yes, that's it. The minute a cap feels right, you're gonna go, oh, this feels right. So pick the styles you like, print them out, bring them with you. Now you have all your ammunition to give to the wig designer or the consultant who's never met you before. If you have a friend that can come with you, always great to have an extra pair of eyes. And you would want somebody who's empathetic, but you want somebody who's gonna be really honest with you, okay? So say to them, listen, here's my, here's my structure. I have cheekbones, I have a short forehead, maybe you have a small neck. What would you suggest? You've been doing this a long time. So aside from bringing what you bring with you, be open to explore. Because when you're going to go into this process, I don't care if you've just lost your hair, I don't go, if, if, if you're going through chemo, whatever the situation is, hair loss is really emotional and devastating. So you want somebody who's been there a little bit, who understands, and you know what? I lose it every time I have to go in with a client. I do, I cry along with them. It's an emotional process. But here's the interesting thing. When you change your perspective, you change your reality. Okay, so if you look at this instead of, oh my God, I've lost all my hair. Yeah, you can go through that for a little while, but it's not gonna do any good to stay there. What you wanna do is go to a proactive place where you go, you know what? Okay, this is what I'm dealing with. I'm gonna embrace this and I'm gonna rock it. 
let me go, let me go see what's out there. Because wigs are so much better than they used to be 10 years ago, and it's so much easier to look exactly like you. So I hope this helped. So if you have any other questions, feel free to write me. I may have forgotten something. I don't think so though. Um, write me at hello at wigscape.com. Thanks.